Wow! Wherever you might be watching me from all over the world, a warm greeting to you all. My name is Shion Akishon. I'm using this medium to introduce to you a powerful program on Safe Omega Media titled A Seed in Me. A Seed in Me. A Seed in Me. What is that seed in you that is yet to discover? Join me on this program to discuss on how we can discover the seed in us. A seed that can allow you to shine in life. According to the book of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 says, Arise and shine for your glory has come. Without you discover the seed in you, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to grow your seed, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to nurture your seed, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to use your seed to impart life positive, you can never shine. Join me on, on Facebook Live at Safe Omega Media. Thank you and God bless you. But tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you. Glory, glory, glory to God Almighty for His good, for His wonderful, for His mercies and direct forever. Welcome back to Moment with Shame and also Ego Praise International. We are really sorry. I would like to apologize for the interruption from the Facebook. We have no power over that. We are interrupted during the program. And that's why we have to take time to correct what, what went wrong. And here we are again to continue with the program. Please stay tuned. Continue to reshare, call friends, call family because it's awesome having my wonderful brother here with us. Even with his testimony, with his song, it, it has been so great. So we want to continue the program for the next few minutes before we end. Kindly please share to bless other people and it shall be well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, moving forward. <clears throat> now, uh, I ask you to sing earlier on before we are interrupted about the internet i would like you to now share with our viewers how many album how many um <clears throat> songs have you done and what are you aiming to what are you aiming to do in the future and also how do you receive your inspiration how do you get your songs okay continue sir okay i'll start with when it, uh, my album so far, so good. I've gotten like about 62 songs on YouTube, oh. on Instagram. Okay, 62 and songs. More than, I think it's more, more than. I've got live performance all over the whole world, including mm. Nigerian, all over the whole U Europe. Okay. So I've got a lot of stage performance. You can see like about 5,000 gathering, even in oh, Lighthouse wow. Camberwell. Oh, wow. And all my inspiration, all my songs. Sometimes I might be at work, I might be in the shower. Mm -hmm. And my inspiration comes, I just take my pen straight away. Even when I, while I'm going to the work, I have my pen at work. Oh, wow. So everything is from God. And I believe a day I must have a song from the Holy Ghost. Every day. Every day. Oh. I pack it then. Right now, I've got like about even more than 50. I haven't, like, I just keep. That you have no work on no at all. For now. Okay. And my song, I'm the writer, okay. I'm the editor of my song. I only okay. have a producer. Okay. For now. Hallelujah. So how many have you done in the past? And then, um, because some people will say through their challenges or through, I know the Holy Spirit will drop the song to us to write and then we produce it, but there must be certain reason for you to produce songs out there for people to listen to. What, what is your reason? Well, for there are songs of inspiration whereby you see someone passing through a challenges and the Holy Ghost just drop a song. Mm -hmm. Like, as a mochukwama, I said, is my king and my God. He has never failed you, nor he has never changed. He said, no matter what you're going through, 
Just call me. Call me my king. As far as you give me that title, to honor me. I will, I will solve every situation. So when I was at work passing through, there was a, a challenge I was facing. I think I was at work that day. I was praying, speaking in tongue. And the song came. I was going to do that song with a friend of mine in Nigeria. I prayed over it and the Holy Spirit said, do it alone. Oh. I've already to tell the guy what to do. I said, I'm going to send you money, do your voice. But when the inspiration came, I'm only going to say, do it alone. That the song is for you alone. Oh. And I did it, the testimony came. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. And to, to God be the glory of Worldwide, they're playing the song, even on Trend FM, as well. oh. and other stations I know in Europe. Play that song as a mutual matter today. Hallelujah, wonderful. So, um, moving forward on that, um, people are requesting that you should sing again because of um, the interruption we had earlier on. I'm not too sure if people are able to listen to it before the internet went down. So, I would like you to now sing naturally with your voice before we listen to the to the one to the one that you've produced. Kindly, please do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are battles only Yahweh can fight. Only Yahweh can fight. Oh. Only Yahweh can fight. Oh. There are mountains only Adonai he can climb. Only Adonai he can climb. Oh. Only Adonai he can climb. Oh. There are situations only Yahweh can handle for you. Only Yahweh can handle all. Do what only you can do. Yahweh, Yahweh. Change what only you can change. Oh. Yahweh, Yahweh. I never know you honor me like this. I never know you favor me like this until when I call you answer me. Yezo mwero nye di I never know you lift me higher. I never know Lord you provide for me until when I call you answer me. Yezo mwero nye di Yebu be mwero nye di kagiyo Yezo mwero nye di kagiyo Father I am your presence Bless me now Jehovah over the way Bless me now I am your presence Bless me now Jehovah over the way Bless me now I am your presence Bless me now, Jehovah over the way. Bless me now. And oh say God you go bless me with your double grace, oh, with your double favor, oh, eh. And oh say God you go favor me with your double grace, oh, with your double favor, oh, eh. Nobody go be poor man, eh. Everybody go be come rich, oh. With your double grace, oh, Amen. with your double favor, eh. And also, God, you go lift me higher. With your double favor, Amen. with your double grace, oh, Amen. eh. Thank you very much. Hallelujah, God bless you. Hallelujah. Wonderful. You. May the Lord bless us all and favor us in the mighty name These of Jesus. These are all my songs. You can have it on YouTube. Hmm. Okay. What's your YouTube channel? Can you share Ego this? Praise OFM London. Go praise to FM London. Let us turn in to listen and be blessed with this song. And I'm truly sure that it will surely bless us. Please do listen and also share with other people. It shall be well with you. I can see my beautiful people coming back to line. Thank you for joining. God shall honor you in the mighty name of Jesus. My wonderful mother, Adefunke Ugoleke. Thank you, ma. She said good evening, ma. Amen. Amen to your prayer in Jesus' name. My beautiful sister, for me, unstoppable. She said, Ego Praise. Oh, yes. Ego Praise International is on platform sharing his experience on how she was able to encounter the challenges that he never thought of. And the challenge is like uh, international. The more the glory, the more the challenge. The more the glory, the more the, the battle. 
but he has been so focused because he believed in him that called him. So he was focused and he kept going on that same track. And God has been there to deliver him through being focused and obeying the voice of the Lord only. He was able to overcome those challenges. He shared that with us earlier on before the internet was interrupted. And also he said that <clears throat> he said that he was picked up from nowhere. And he tested God that he want to know if truly that um, pastor, apostle, Suleiman is truly the man of God. He want God to let him to prophesy. And it, it, it happened just the way he prayed. Exactly what happened. Since that time, God has given him that spirit of David to continue to sing. And he said when he's singing, he sang with all his voice. Even when people said the mic is not working, once he held onto the microphone, the voices even too louder for them so god has been so good and he also said that he truly believed in identity which is that song that said of singing he believed in him and that singing as well has opened lots of doors for him even though he was um he was miss <coughs> he was being <coughs> arrested innocently despite that he did nothing he was arrested innocently kept in a in a in a prison or something and he was there for like six months not knowing that god wants to use him as at that time to able to even open his eye on his profession to be able to uh, stylist people's ear right there because they have no barber and he said oh this is what i love doing then from there he began to do that but for some reason god said he has to be free and they freed him even though he has not done nothing wrong but he went there for a purpose and it's for a good purpose so he encouraged us that whatever we are going through god knows about it i'm just paraphrasing all i'm saying because of those that are just joining us because we we've been on here about few minutes ago but the line was interrupted that's why i'm paraphrasing may the lord bless you please kindly wash all over again or the first one we did wash it again I'm truly sure that you will be blessed. God bless you for joining. I can see my beautiful <coughs> brother, Austin Itoya. He said, well done, Ego Praise. Thank you for joining. God bless. Let us share to bless other people because his testimony is awesome. And once you encounter trouble and God is there to deliver you, it's for you to share that testimony. Your testimony is a short sermon to transform life. For that reason, share this and let people be free from that bonding. It shall be well with us all in Jesus' name. Can I just say <coughs> one more word? <coughs> I'll say thank you to Austin Etoya. Austin Etoya. He has been my father <coughs> even when the challenge is come in everywhere, even in church, even at home. Oh. He's always been there for me. Hallelujah. He always fought my battle even when I'm not there. <coughs> Sometimes he won't tell me <coughs> that this is what is going on. <coughs> but he's been a father figure. And I copied him in everything he does because oh. I want to be like him as well. Oh. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. God bless you. More grace and anointing upon you in Jesus' name. Moving forward, can you share with our viewers before we listen to your song on how you can um, encourage people watching us or to advise them how to unleash that hidden seed? You are so lucky. I said I want to ask about your other career, which is about that cooking stuff. You said you are a... a, a, a a cook in making so i would like you to speak about that but before that advice people watching us that how can they identify their seed for them to become great on this earth well everybody think in life that their sin is worse than any other person hmm. but the time you realize you've seen and you ask for his mercy don't look at other people's sin. Look at your own at that moment. Oh. What you have done that moment and ask for his mercy. Oh. It's simple. And God has given you a gift. Don't hide it. Oh. Use that gift very well. Whether you are in music industry, whether you are in other profession, no matter what they said about you, keep going. Because oh. the more you keep a listening ear to them, oh. they will kill you and kill your career. But I advise you, do your hidden secret and bring it to life. Once you've done the packaging, before you bring it. But don't bring it to them when you've not manuf um, manufactured the packaging. Because <laughs> people are there to discourage you and say, did God really call you? <laughs> and watch me. Give them your song. 
and say, this is the song I wanted to do. They will discourage you. Don't do this song. It might not sell. But trust me, by the time you give them the clue of the song, yeah, and you've, you yourself, you've worked back that you don't want to do it, they will take that song. They will shine with your own glory. <laughs> so be very, very wise. But your seed is your seed. No one can take it away from That's you. Right. It's like you being a doctor. Because you saw your friend doing an, an engineer, you said you want to go and do the engineer when God did not call you. So you must open your eye to know what God has called you, what you are capable of doing. You must open your eye. And at the same time, you should be able to ask God in your inner chamber if he really called you. Well, like I said, walk with all your heart. Give God a time and try him if he's not going to tell you the day or when. If that thing is going to work out. Hallelujah. Like me, to God be the glory. Before Hallelujah. anything happened to me, I've already seen it coming. And I have people who will even be the one telling me every plan of the enemy. Hallelujah. I'm always an overcomer. Hallelujah. I've never lost any battle and I will never lose now. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Moving forward, I can see my beautiful sister Tina Pedro. More yes. grace. That's my brother. choir member. Ah, okay, mother. Ego praise. God is taking you higher. He bigger. He meant amen, to that amen, in Jesus' amen, name. Amen. Now I would like you to share with our viewers how did you get this ego praise? Is it a stage name that was tagged with you? Well, or can you please share with our viewers? I would like to let everybody know. They thought ego means money in Igbo. Okay. But my dad gave me that name from it's Beth. Your real name. It's my real name from Beth. Oh, okay. The name is Ego Bundu in Igbo. Okay. But I'll tell you what it means. Back in the days when my dad was, my dad, well, at least he's a well-doing man. <coughs> my dad had an eye operation. Okay. They operated my dad. They removed the two eyes okay. at once. So it, my mom was pregnant for me then. So my dad went to a place called Onicha. They brought some white men to come and operate. I just do eye operation and go back. So they removed the two eyes. He was in the hospital. When they called my dad and my mom just gave birth. Amen. And he was paying for his own eye operation. At the same time paying for hospital. And he said, what name can I give this person? That if not for money, he would have died in the hospital. My mom would have brought in um, in the hospital as well. So he said, the only thing he, he, he thought about there was to give me a name, Ego. That money saved him. For him not to lose his eye. And my mom not to die in the hospital. So that was how that name, Ego Bundu, he said, money is life. Okay. But me, as soon as I'm growing up, I change it to Chuku Bundu, that God is life. Okay. But that's why I choose Ego. But people are thinking it's money I choose. Hmm. Ego praise. Hallelujah. Now, it's good that you explain to us at least we know what it means that uh, that make you to, to bear that name. And I can't even think of being... Um, <laughs> Call you that name that is a real name because I thought it's money as you rightly said. Thank you for sharing. It shall be well with you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Now, as we are moving forward, we're going to go into our interaction section. Okay, let us listen to your music before we do that because uh, I know people will love to um, contribute to that. So let us listen to one of your music, then we can proceed to that. Please stay tuned, guys. God bless you. Nanane ya de ya de de kusia nane Nanana nane ya kusia nana de ya da de sia nane ya da da ya de Lende sia de ya kusia nana kiyori ya kusia Ikasia nana nani ye ko Le supra de kusia nana ikasudi Katia nana 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 you never fail, you never change. What you say is what you will do. Yes, you What you will do? Yes, it's 
glory, glory to God Almighty for His good, for His wonderful, for His mercies endureth forever. What a wonderful song! Can you please share with our viewers as the more what is the meaning? I said, my king <coughs> and my God. My king and my God. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Our king, our God, our everything is, is wonderful to have. His able father that do what no man can do. May we never the way from his way in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I can see all the comments from my beautiful people. Thank you so much. Even the prayer, this is awesome. Thank you. May the Lord bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus. My beautiful sister, Abi Yewa. Please pardon me if I didn't say it properly. More grace to Brother Ego Praise. Amen. Jesus' name. My mother had a phone call. Good luck. He said, um, that is powerful. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And she said, uh, more divine grace and fresh anointing in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. My beautiful sister, Vivian Osha Bioda, he told you she has danced and danced and danced. Even I can see, I can feel the way you are dancing. That's Austin, the toy's wife. Oh, may the <laughs> Lord accept your dance, your praising in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. man. Thank Amen. you for joining, man. God bless you. Amen. And also, um, other people that I cannot say at the moment, but uh, I'm pretty sure that it will still come back to me and I will surely read out your comment. Thank you all for joining. Because of our time, we will quickly move in into our interaction section. This is a session where we want to encourage one another um, to remind us that it is important for us to go back to scripture. He was saying that because of his look, people judge him. She, he said that because of his health style, they do judge him and they condemn him. The Bible says, come as you are. I will accept you. I will take you. There is no discrimination with God Almighty. He loves us equally. He accepted us the way we want to come. So we want to remind ourselves. Maybe people, because of their ignorance, they believe that once God has saved you, other people are condemned. No, it wasn't so. If God has shown mercy to that thief on the cross at the last minute, even the thief never believed he will enter into paradise. But for the sake of that grace that he said, he just said, this man has not sinned. We are the ones that have sinned. So they should even free him. Mm -hmm. And that word save his life True. forever. True. And he was able to reign with Christ Jesus. You know, it's a great um, opportunity. So we should never think that because we are saved or we are working for God, we, are, we have that anointing, we have to condemn other people. If God has not condemned us, we should never condemn nobody. So we, I want us to use this segment to remind us of how we go back to our scripture at all times. It's the guideline for us as a Christian, except if you don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ who have saved you, that you believe in. Except that then you can, you may not use the Bible as a guideline. This is our guideline, this is our map that we need to always, continually to go back to and it will surely direct our footpath in the mighty name of Jesus. So I'm going to set time for you 60 seconds to answer about two to three questions from the scripture and you are not permitted to look phone at this time because everybody on the platform are welcome to contribute so they can also um type in their question on the page type it i mean your answers if you know the answer just type it in i will read it out later to see if you got it right or if ego praise got it right and it's not to to um it's not for us to think that oh who knows it better no we just want to learn just to remind us that it is good to you know there was a time i asked a certain question it's not that the person did not know it but if he forgot he forgot totally as at that time then later you know we share things we share what then he remember truly oh this is the right answer so that is what we uh, that is the reason why we're shipping this segment just to remind us on how we continually to go back to the scripture may the lord continue to bless us all in jesus name so you have just 60 quest, uh, 60 seconds to answer three to four questions and the first question is <clears throat> what is the name of a woman that abraham married after sarah the name of the woman abraham married after sarah if you know the answer please just type it in and it shall be well with you in jesus name 
let the viewer answer for us. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> don't fall in We're waiting hand. for the viewer. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, the I, second I, question. I left them for the viewers. <laughs> you left them for the viewers. The second question. What is the name of, what is the name of Tabitha in the Bible? Tabitha. The curse. Oh, wow. You got that one. Can you say it out? So that people will know that at least. The cast. The at least cast. I know that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> at least because I wasn't expecting that. So, if it happened, God is with us. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, the next question, which is the third question, is what was the nationality of Ruth in the Bible? Mm. The nationality of Ruth in the Bible. What? was the nationality of roots in the bible if anybody knows it please type it in make sure you don't mention nigeria <laughs> <laughs> roots has a british passport you know <laughs> which is a national identity <laughs> oh wow <laughs> okay the next question i'm still waiting for people to type that in if you know the answer just put it down god bless you the next question is which animal lied in the bible there was a, a certain animal that lied in the Bible. Which animal lied in the Bible? If anybody knows it, please step it in for us. The snake. <clears throat> snake. Snake. Okay. Okay. That is the fourth question. Your time stopped. <laughs> no. Now. <laughs> in fact, I stopped the time with prayer. <laughs> So you have been praying silently. I wish Austin Itoya is here with me. In fact, he will be giving me the expo. <laughs> but because that's his segment. That's where, he, that's where he carried me along to say, yeah, you need to work on this area. Oh, wow. It is well. God bless you. Thank you for answering this question. God bless you more. Thank you. Wisdom to you. Okay. The first question, I think somebody answered that. Um, the first question was, uh, what is the name of Tabitha? And I can see somebody said Dorcas. You also said Dorcas. Thank you. That is right. We can find that in the book of Acts chapter 36. And the next question was, what is the name of a woman that Abraham married after Sarah? Somebody mentioned, okay, my mother, my beautiful mother, Vivian, or Sabiono Itoya said Ketura. God bless you, ma. More wisdom upon you in Jesus' name. And the next question was, um, <clears throat> what is the nationality of Ruth? You don't know it. So you just use style to say, don't mention Nigeria. Can you imagine? Let me see who knows it on the platform. Did anybody know the nationality of Ruth? They're still waiting Ruth? for to answer okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Nobody knows that. Okay. I will review the answer. The answer is more bad. Ruth is from Moabite, and we can find this in the book of Ruth, chapter 1, verse 4. The next question, which is the, okay, my mother, Itoya, just said the Moabite. Thank you, my God bless you. Um, The next question, which is the last question, is which animal lied in the Bible? You think and think and think deeply before you can even say snake, but I will say you get it anyway. Thank you. And many people on the platform, but mother, Ade, Funke, Ugunleke said, uh, serpent and also um sister benita amalue she said serpent as well thank you all for contributing it's just a way to remind us what bible is telling us that we should not allow this book of law to depart from us we should always meditate in it both day and night it will guide us even when the storm arose the bible is there to strengthen our faith through that trial and tribulation because it's a face it will go by so but if we don't believe in the word if we don't have what to to speak to that storm in our life then we might be derailed i pray that god almighty will continue to teach us all in jesus christ's name amen, amen. and i still have the cds of my beautiful sister esther Okutuga with me i have few left now if you are willing to have one please just inbox me i will send it to you and also i have the book from uh, my prophet professor isaac o Ujitalayo. you can find this on amazon and the title is understanding the principle of church growth we want to grow in all area of our life so this book is 
based on spiritual aspect and it's really good for us to buy and read and understand how we can nurture or grow wherever thing God has laid in our hand. And also I have um, over the storm of life from my pastor Joy Aladeton. This is life experience and it's awesome. Trust me. This is also based on Bible, on scriptures, on how we can overcome the storm of life. May the Lord continue to fight our battle in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. It shall be well with us all. Now before we end the program, I would like to share with us. I know you've mentioned Apostle Silemon and some other great men that supported you in the journey of your life. Yes. Who would you like to appreciate before we end? Hmm. Well, I want to appreciate my mother, my father, who gave birth to me. Because without them, there is no Apostle Suleiman. Without them, there's no my, there's no my senior pastor, Pastor Ejuro. And all thanks to Omega Fire Ministry, London 1. Hmm. And to my father, Pastor Ejuro. And thanks to my music director, MD Worldwide Rest. Hmm. And my international leader as well, Brother George, hmm. who has been there for me a thing and everything every time and also to my friend my brother austin itoya and vivian itoya and to my friend osazu who is always there to contribute financially anytime i said anytime you want to have your album i must contribute to one and also to olutayo olutayo who is always there to invite me in any program God bless you all. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for contributing positively into the journey of his life. May the Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. As we are moving forward, I would like to appreciate you with this little gift from Sweet wow. Fruit. Can wow. you appreciate Sweet Heart Fruit? Well, Sweet Heart Fruit, God bless you. Amen. Where you brought this from, may God continue to enrich you, Amen. to increase you from glory to glory. Amen. I received this gift. And God will receive you as well in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Uh, to all my wonderful people on the platform, my fans, thank you so much for joining at all time. Thank you whenever we come up that you are always there to watch and listen to what we are doing. I do really appreciate and I didn't take you for granted. I pray that at the end of our life, you and I will have place in the kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. To my wonderful husband, Olawale Akishon, the CEO of Safe Omega Media, thank you so much for being the backbone, the pillar of this program at all time that I want to do my program. You are always there to support me. The Lord supports you in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall continue to go higher and higher in Jesus Christ's name. Um, before we leave, let me remind you of your seed once again. Your seed is your glory. Without you shining with your glory, then you are dormant. You need to identify what is that seed in you and uh, uh, execute it. You need to activate your, your glory. You need to use it. Do not allow enemy to, to snatch your glory from you. True. Whatever you believe in that God has laid in your heart and you are convinced that truly you can do this, please, I want to encourage you, step forward and do it. True. People that will support your vision, God will direct them to you no matter what. The main thing is for you to take that bold step and start. Start anyhow, anywhere, anyhow. It does not matter. The main point is for you starting. Once you started, you will see people correcting you. Do it this way, don't do it that way. And if you notice that people are like there to just condemn you, they don't want to hear any, say any positive things to what you have laid your hands on, please move away. People that you surrounded with matters most in the journey of true, your life. True, move true. away from people that will always um, discourage you in whatever you are doing. Otherwise, you will never shine with your glory. Please, I beg you. This is my own advice. Please, I beg you. Because it pains me when people are not there to support and they want to quench that light. Don't allow anybody to quench your light. The Bible says, Arise and shine for the glory of the Lord is upon you. He even said that the darkness will come to your light. It means that once you are arise and you are shining, people will come to tap from your light. It means you are benefiting them. You are you are imparting their life positive. Please try to identify this seed and I pray God will bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus. I remain loyal to you, Shion Akishon, on the platform tag um, a seed in me. See you next week by God's grace. Stay blessed.
Wow! Wherever you might be watching me from all over the world, a warm greeting to your heart. My name is Shion Akishon. I'm using this medium to introduce to you a powerful program on Save Omega Media titled A Seed in Me. A Seed in Me. A Seed in Me. What is that seed in you that is yet to discover? Join me on this program to discuss on how we can discover the seed in us. A seed that can allow you to shine in life. According to the book of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 says, Arise and shine for your glory has come. Without you discover the seed in you, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to grow your seed, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to nurture your seed, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to use your seed to impart life positive, you can never shine. Join me on, on Facebook Live at Safe Omega Media. Thank you and God bless you. But tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you.